Why is almost everything becoming so ridiculously dumbed down? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another vlog, a general interest vlog about the state of society and uh, the world we live in. And this is uh, the, the topic, I think I'm going to do a regular um, feature here about things that are becoming dumbed down for, for the idiocracy that we live in. I'm going to collect things that I see that are like absolutely, I'm like, why do they need this? You know, that's, that's the whole premise here. Like, I certainly don't need anything explained to me. I, I can figure everything out. I don't need diagrams or pictures or anything unless it's something that's uh, like very sophisticated. Like my snowblower, which I tried to fix the other day, and they, did, they didn't really explain in the manual. I looked at six manuals back 10 years, and they did not explain it. Like a little before and after photo would have made a huge difference in that instance. There are a few things that I, I can point out in this video that uh, you'll see that uh, they, they're unnecessary. And you have to ask yourself, why are they necessary? Here's one. It's a can of baby formula. You know, we know how to open up a pull tab on anything, whether it's a can of soup or a can of baby formula or whatever it may be. But this baby formula can has a diagram of how to lift the tab and pull it off. And to me, uh, if you need to see that diagram in order to know how to open that tub of baby formula, you should not be a parent. And over here is a picture of my weather radio. There's an on and off button. It says weather radio, on and off. But they put an extra sticker on, I guess, after the fact that says, please ensure the switch is in the on position. I mean, hmm, I bought a weather radio and I need to remember that I need to turn it on? I don't, I don't know. I mean, who doesn't know the difference between on and off when it clearly says weather radio on and off? Why do they have to put an extra label on it? it? It's like, did someone forget? Did they get stuck in a blizzard and sue the weather radio company? I, I really don't know. It, it's, it's mind boggling. And here's another baby product called Baby Wipes. You know, they're, they're sealed until they're ready to use because you don't want them drying out. Obviously, if you let air inside, they would evaporate and the baby wipes would become baby rags. Um, but, you know, this keeps them wet and moist. Huh, that's what she said. Um, but they had to put a warning on this baby label thing. It says, choking hazard, throw out, discard. Like, I wouldn't know that. I mean, I don't leave random little things out for my baby. Who would? But why do they need to do that? Obviously, again, they got sued and now need to have a disclaimer to prevent future lawsuits. They said, well, we had a big warning on there that said you can't, uh, this, you may choke on it. I, I don't know. I feel bad for the baby that did choke and get sick or die be, because the parents didn't realize it and they felt they had to get retribution towards the uh, baby wipe company because they didn't have common sense and then the baby co wipe company probably, whatever, you, I can go on and on. And here's another one. I love coconut oil. I put it on every single time I take a shower. It makes my skin feel great. And I'm, I have healthy skin. I'm very lucky. But <laughs> this thing says ingredients, 100% coconut oil. And then you read all this other crap. And then at the bottom it says allergens contains coconut. I mean, why? Why do you need, like, if, if I'm allergic to coconut or I have some sorts of so, some sort of allergy towards coconut, wouldn't I see that right on the container? It says <laughs> coconut oil. Like, why do they have to put a, a separate line for allergens contains coconut? I mean, I'm surprised it doesn't say like allergens contains peanuts and acid. I, I really don't know. It's, it's re really ridiculous. Anyway, but here's something very, another interesting thing. It's a little more uh, interactive than the last four pictures I showed you, but Here's what happens when I dial the phone number when it was busy. The number you dialed is busy. If you would like to be notified when the line becomes available, press 7. A usage fee may apply. Back in the day, when you dialed a phone number that was busy, all you got was beep, beep, beep. Beep, and that was it. You knew it was busy. Nowadays, they have to explain what the beep, beep, beep is. 
Like, what the hell? Oh, it, the, the line is busy. Like, why do they need to explain it? What's next? Are we going to need explanations for other things? Like when someone honks a, corn, a horn in their car? Oh, me, me. Oh, the car nearby is getting your attention for something stupid you're doing. Like, would that make it any easier for you? Or what about this? When you set your kitchen timer to tell you when the, when the pasta is done. Beep, 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 beep. This is a reminder that you set something you were doing. Please try and remember what it was so you can attend to it. I don't know how, how dumbed down things have to be. Why is the world becoming so stupid? If you're like me, please uh, you know, hit the bell and uh, subscribe and leave a comment or something because I'm going to try and do this uh, every month or two and, and tell you how dumb things are getting. Thank you.